This is a continuation of part two on is faith a work? Going through the scriptures, starting Galatians 3.21, Paul says, Is the law then against the promises of God? Certainly not. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, truly righteousness would have been by the law. So he hasn't explained it fully yet what the law is for, but he says that if there had been a law given where we could have righteousness, or we could have life, then righteousness would have been by the law. So he equates righteousness with life. What makes you alive is righteousness. Righteousness is believing in God. That's what Abraham did. He was righteous before his God, with his God, to his God, through faith in his God. But the scripture has confined all under sin that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. The promise. How do you get the promise? There's only one way you get the promise, and that's through faith. No one got it until he came here, until he gave his life for us, so he could then offer it to us. The scripture confined all under sin, all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. Verse 23, but before faith came, faith came in the person of Jesus Christ, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Faith, true faith, was revealed in Christ. Yes, people had faith before then, but they didn't know the things we know because Christ had not come yet. We were kept under guard by the law. Therefore, the law was our tutor. It was our tutor. It was not our savior. It was not our tool to get salvation, to get life. It was our tutor. What? To bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. The law was a tutor. It was not an instrument of salvation or an instrument of righteousness. But after faith has come, we are no longer under the tutor. For you, you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Now that's not talking about water baptism. Anyone can get wet. Anyone can get in water and have some so-called holy guy say words over him. And even say in the name of Jesus Christ I baptize you. But to put on Jesus Christ means you put your faith in him, and you are now in him. That's why you put him on, because you believe in him. Anyone can, can get dunked without believing, but only those who really believe can be baptized. That is, immersed in the Spirit of God. That's why John the Baptist says, I baptize you with water, but, or however, there is one coming after me who will baptize you with fire or with the Spirit. So, if you believe in him, he baptizes you in his own spirit. He immerses you in his own spirit. If you don't, there's, there's another baptism, a baptism of fire, that you probably don't want. And that's the end of that segment.